so you being a bodyguard for Diddy, you know, you've been to his parties. You feel like it's totally inappropriate for T.D. Jakes to be at a Diddy party. I think it's very inappropriate of a man of a cloth to be at a party like that and then dancing across the stage or dancing, you know, at the type of atmosphere. You know, you got to separate yourself from the two, man. You know what I'm saying? You got people with drugs, alcohol, you know what I'm saying? Women that's loose. Women that's in the women, men is in the men. Men is in woman. Twos, threes, whatever. Anything that goes on, very goes on. But that's back in the, you know, from in the 90s and 2000. But it wasn't so much back then that you see Men coming on each each other like that, like you do now. They don't care now. You know what I'm saying? They don't give a shit. But back then, they, they cared a little bit more who knew that they was out like that. They don't care no more. It's, it's activity like that in all phases of rap now. You understand? So in those parties, you definitely going to see that there because you see rappers there. You understand? You going to see that stuff there, man. But my whole thing about it is, is this. Uh, you got a reverend or you got a, a bishop that's supposed to be helping you get your house in order. And he's supposed to be doing the doing the right thing. And you look at your television, he doing the wrong thing. Cause he dancing at Diddy Party. But you have to understand that maybe his house ain't right. How he gonna get your house in order and his house ain't in order? Look, bro. I read this. One of his, both, he got two sons that is about, and I'm talking about uh, T.D. Jakes. He got two sons that may be part of the LGBT or that community. Allegedly, I guess. One was caught in a park, uh, maybe Houston or Dallas in Texas, you know, doing, uh, 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 not felonious, but a fragrant, uh, homosexual act with somebody. Now, I'm looking at Rev ain't got his house in order, and his boys is like that. They should be a product of him. Maybe the boys is telling you something and saying something loud without even opening their mouth. Or do they open their mouth? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. But I would have backtracked, right? I would have backtracked to Cassie. Do you think she was attracted to um, Diddy or do you think she was only with him because of his money? She said she wasn't. She said she wasn't. It ain't what I think. She said I wasn't physically attracted to him. I didn't think he was this, that, and the third. Yo, you got to think he's your father or something like that. old man. I think she was 19 and he was in his early 40s or, 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 or what, late 30s? So my, she could have been his daughter. What's the point of getting with a chick, bro, that you know not physically attracted to you? like? <laughs> Yo. Yo, bro, it's a lot of cats out here. They, uh, for a, a a better word, they f out their league. And the girl looking at them like she the Statue of Liberty. She always got her hands in the air. Give me, lend me, can you spare? And when dudes when, when dudes figure out that those women is only using them because what they can give them. And what they have for them, they become violent toward them. 